What's poppin' everybody? This is Sid Wolf on a forum. I have a match with the Nido Queen deck. Nido Queen from Team Up here. I know that you guys are probably expecting more unified decks, but like I said on the previous video, I believe, uh, bear with me. I'm having difficulty collecting cards from that set. You know, just, just buying a booster box, opening 36 packs, 36 codes, just doesn't cut it anymore. You can't get enough of the stuff you need. I mean, it's probably been like this for a while, but... You know, I'm having difficulty getting cards. Uh, so in the meantime, I've got this Nido Queen uh, match right here. The Nido Queen deck from Team Up is something that I really enjoy. Haven't touched it for a bit, so I'm glad to use it again. It's also going to severely change after the rotation happens pretty soon. So might as well enjoy it with the double colorless energies while we can. And... My opponent going to mulligan, which is something good. I'll get a free card here, which is probably going to be useful. I don't have a supporter. And as you guys can see, uh, you probably didn't see it, but the card in the end, in the left end over there, was a Tarina, the new Tarina from Unified Minds. And with all the grass energies, you know, it's obvious this is some sort of a Tarina energy acceleration deck. My opponent is probably going to be using one of the big grass dudes like Rowlet, Exeggutor, Perhaps Venusaur, Celebi, or even Buzzwill and Furamasa. You know, they're, they're the best Pokemon to really take advantage of that energy acceleration for grass. Dish out high damage, heal them up with all the other stuff, broken healing support that exists for grass. So let's see here. Mysterious Treasure, I discard the Lysander, not Lysander, Guzma there, but there's not much. Uh, I don't have many options. There's a lot of valuable things in my hand. Discard the double colorless energy too. It seems a bit weird discarding the DC and not the psychic, but to be honest, uh, I just have four psychic energies and four DCs in this deck. Uh, so it's the same amount. It's not like DC is more valuable, like you only have four and you got more psychics to spare. So I decided, hey, you know what, might as well discard the DC. Just in case if my opponent on the off chance he runs Enhance Hammer, I attach it and then he gets rid of it. So we don't have a supporter, but at least I got the rare candy and Nido Queen. So next turn, if we get out Nido Queen out, I can grab something like Pidgeotto and hopefully dig for one that way. My opponent gonna force me to switch with the escape rope. Uh, no problem, just gonna use the other Nido in the active position. No way I would promote the PG, it's too valuable. And you know, this deck it should be slow as well, like this Venusaur. Uh, he it seems he is running the Venusaur GX with Celebi. God, I just I just can't keep saying Celebi and Venusaur GX. I just say Venusaur GX. Uh, but yeah, it is gonna take a while for him to be ready, so we can take advantage of this chance and set up ourselves. So Nido Queen is out. Queen's call. I'm naturally gonna search out for a Pijoto here, and hopefully uh, we dig for a supporter there. Uh, yeah, not Nido Arena. Pidgeotto is the right thing to get. Get the Pidgeotto and start digging. You know, I would have liked to have more of my basics down, like more PGs down, but I guess it didn't work out like that. So here's Pidgeotto, Airmail, and I get the Lily. Good. Exactly what I needed there. And attach the Psychic Energy to Nidoran. Gonna use more, more Call for Family. We still need to dig for Pokemon. Right. So, what do we got here? I got my mysterious treasure. Uh, I'm definitely going to use that. But what to discard? Shrine is too valuable. The energy is valuable. Choice band is too valuable. So, it's it's just going to come down to the poker gear. It seems kind of too much discarding the poker gear. Uh, because it's my way to get a supporter. But I'm really going to bank on Nido Queen and Pidgeotto here. We have to get our evolution Pokemon out quickly. And I don't want to risk it with the Poke Gear right now. So I'll call for family, get another Pidgey. And with my Nido Queen and Pidgeotto, we should be able to dig for a supporter next turn or just something useful. Alright, so my opponent attached the DC. So he will be able to knock out this Nidoran. Play Judge too, so that's going to mess up my hand. I mean, it's not like uh, I needed many of the things just yet I mean there we will use the choice band we will use all the other stuff but not yet I gotta get 
my Pokemon evolved from the bench. Because the thing is with this Venusaur deck, you know, I'm not stupid. I know how the deck is. Uh, just if you attack, do a little bit of damage, you don't KO it in one shot. They're just going to heal up either through the new GX Potion, which is overpowered, either through Life Forest, or even worse, Venusaur can use his GX attack, heal all the damage, and do 180. Not got Needle Queen in one hit. So I'm going to put more effort into getting my setup complete. Like, it probably won't be... It's probably not feasible for me to get a full bench of Evolved Pokemon, because no matter what, he's going to be knocking out somebody... Uh, unless I leave the Nido Queen in the active position, then maybe he's forced to use the GX attack. But otherwise, I need to get like many evolved Pokemon down or get a few damage counters spread with the Shrine of Punishment. So we got a long way to go here. I gotta set up. I can't attack it. It, it will be pointless. So let's use Aramel. Got the option of Switch and Tate and Liza. And you know what? I'm going to get the switch because we're definitely switching. I'm not going to leave the Needle Queen active there. So let's get that. Uh, Aramel number two. Let's see what we get here. And Pidgey or Erica. Hmm. So let's get Pidgey. I'm not, I'm not going to... I have too many cards to use. Uh, Eri I mean, we probably could have used her if I just played a few cards but not yet let's get rescue stretcher rescue stretcher get the needle ran here quite a risky play you know spending my one only one stretcher uh, to get like a needle ran not something like needle queen go with the switch promote this little decoy there and just Attach the DC on the other Nido Queen, so I just spread him around just in case he does use something like Guzma and Switch. And pass the turn, that's all we can do. But I promoted a Pokemon that's not the most valuable thing, Nido Ran. The Pidgeotos are very valuable, the other PG is valuable because I want to make it into another Pidgeotto. Nido Queens are, of course, the most valuable. So I just really want to collect my pieces slowly slowly uh, we got the field blower too and I have to use that for the buff padding too gotta get rid of that too otherwise he definitely doesn't die so my opponent went with the escape rope and with the Guzma uh, grabbing the needle queen there so I guess no matter what uh, he does want to hit this guy uh, he was maybe hoping I was gonna promote him so 50 damage just gonna use Poland Hazard. Uh, this is actually gonna work out nicely with me because he did damage the Needle Queen there and is badly hurt. However, he didn't get a KO. So I do have a very small opportunity right now to get all of my Evolve Pokemon out. Just get a full bench of Evolve Pokemon and get the one hit knockout on this Venusaur. So it's gonna be difficult, but we're gonna try. So first and foremost, we're going to grab the last Pidgeotto from the deck. Uh, the other one is Prize, it seems. Then I'm going to use Queen's Call. Just search something, uh, need a Queen here. Just in case we reveal like a rare candy through Pidgeotto, I can get that guy out too. It makes the most sense. And now it's up to the Airmails. I've got like three chances here. So here's the Triple Acceleration Energy. Didn't want to see it, but we probably will need it. Uh, to make the attack. It's either that or like a DC. Aramel number two. So, option between Erika and Lily. So, I definitely gotta get Erika here. If we play a few cards from my hand, I should be able to use her. And just gonna draw three cards, but, you know, it is what it is. So, play down the choice bands. I debate here for a bit, but we gotta play them. Gotta play them for sure. So here's one in you and one in you. Now Erika is live. Uh, so let's play her now that I can. Draw three cards. So there's the rare candy. So the last Nato Queen is out. So all three are out now. So I have a full bench of evolved Pokemon. So all we need now is like a way to switch 
and I can get a one-hit knockout on this Venusaur. It's crazy. So Queen's Call, just gonna thin the deck even more, get like a PG. Just do as much as I can to thin out my deck and hopefully get lucky with airmail here. Uh, get a Pokemon that we don't need and what do you know? <laughs> Here's the switch with Pidgeotto. I mean I did I did do have like two in the deck or something and there was also the U-turn uh, option, U-turn board option. So it's perfect. I will be able to switch here. I will be able to make a big attack with the uh, Nido Queen. Get a one hit knockout. And it's going to be very devastating for my opponent. He loses all of the energies on the Venusaur. Doesn't have really much going on besides this Pokemon. It's the, it's the price you kind of pay with these tank decks. If your plan fails and you can't just heal and tank, you know, you sort of put your eggs in one basket. So 290 damage. We get the one hit KO. And I'm in a very, very great position here. It's just a complete 180. Like, if you if you can't get the one hit Agad, then we're probably going to be screwed. But now that we did get the one hit Agad, you know, it's just a completely 180 when it comes to advantage. Uh, I have a full bench of evolved Pokemon. We can get, like, another one hit Agad on this Venusaur if he doesn't KO anybody. And he just passes the turn. Uh, didn't do, couldn't do anything. So... Just gonna use Cynthia and then use the air mills to dig for the uh, triple acceleration energy. And we just see it. I don't even need to use Pijoto. So, just very, very easy uh, before you know it. Uh, just an easy win against this Venusaur deck. All I gotta do is just use Power Lariat. Instant KO. So, kind of a quick match, but it was really cool. I just thought I'd show it to you guys. A Nido Queen putting in the work against Venusaur. Pretty sweet. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. I'll see you guys on the next one. Say World Fire 4. What's we'll up?